Remember when I first started this project off and said you only need so many vending machines? Well, I guess it's a good thing I only got involved with vending machines and not stuff like slot machines. Oh. Anyways, let's talk about this more. So this is almost as it looks when I left it five years ago. And that is to say, with the exception of the door, the rest of the paintwork is done. So take a look at that. So this has been, as we remember, we cleaned that up. We rust treated, primed, and painted. And other than a couple of spots like this here, the rest of it's doing absolutely fantastic. This was junk. This was junk. And you can still see there's holes in it because the metal's thinned out so much. But five years and that's all there is, I, there's a second life on, second lease in life when it comes to this material here. Uh, this here has seen pretty much no extra work just simply because there's so much metal work left here to do still. Uh, whatever, we'll beat that up. Good material, good material, good material. And you get to about here, cut across, and you go down, cut across, and then you have to take care of this comedic beat up right here. This is just spot welded in. This is spot welded in. So those can be taken out, like banged out, straightened, and then just welded back into the new piece. And then, and then we only have to really template that and that and that. And we already have a general idea where everything is. And even though we have to like go along here and weld, whatever, that's fine. Remember there's a steel plate that goes over this as well, which is this piece right here. And I mean, there's no point fixing that. Um, neither is there point to fixing that. But the whole thing comes across as a pattern for weird stuff like that, or that, or that. And the decal, the decal can still be saved. There can be, like, I can't find a replacement for that, but the decal can be saved. And all this here, whatever, I can find something that'll work with it. Electrically speaking, though, I haven't messed with any of the wiring. So, this looks pretty much all the same as it was when we first started working on this project five years ago. Cool. But I have still done some cleanup. So, Ballasts have all been cleaned and painted. The board was cleaned up here. The backer was cleaned. This has all been cleaned up. The wiring is still a mess, but part of that is because I was kind of holding out to hope that I can find a schematic for this thing. And I kind of found a schematic for this thing already. So, the biggest issue that we had here was that, and as we go around to the back here and admire this absolutely fantastic paint job, which is held up relatively well. A couple spots right here, whatever, same thing, held up pretty good. So remember with the general merchandiser badge here, um, model 147, couldn't find anything. Even five years later, couldn't find anything. And then a couple months ago, I had a breakthrough. I Googled by accident model 447 and that got hits. In fact, not only did it get us hits, it got us a service manual. It got us wiring diagrams. It got us part listings. And while the 447 is not necessarily the best in terms of compatibility, there's some weird issues like the wiring slightly different, the switches are different, like bezels, trim, visually, it's the same machine. Look at it, look at the pictures here. There's very few differences between these two machines that would let me say that it was not worth my time to spend $5 for a service manual. So now we have a service manual. Now this holds way more promise than it did even three months ago, which is fantastic. Speaking of promise, remember this? So while the vending machine has been waiting for a few odds and ends to come in so I can actually start reassembling things, I went back to working on the compressor assembly, which if you remember from a few videos back, wasn't really all that awesome. Now when I first tried to test this thing out, you plugged it in, you got an angry buzz and really nothing happened, except you maybe popped a breaker or, so, or that. And then I thought closely more about the motor start capacitor on this thing because I, well, I just didn't know if it was in any good condition. So I dug around, and I managed to find another motor start capacitor. Now this is the original one right here. This one is rated for 165 volts AC, 88 microfarads. The 
One I found, if you can just kind of read it upside down, is rated 47 to 56 microfarads, 250 volts AC. Not an absolutely perfect replacement, but what the hell, because the moment I pulled off the original one, the terminals fell off with it. Discovered two things. One, this cap was very much dead. And two, this is all aluminum wiring right here. So even if I wanted to reuse this, it all has to go. But getting that one attached there was a bit of a pain in the ass. But once that was done, and I added a proper plug to it, and I plugged it in, if I can do it with one hand here, it started. It actually works. As you can see here, the metal pieces, I've gone and descaled and sanded. They're currently, they've been rust treated, and I've painted them this nice matte black that's currently drying. The fan motor which is actually hiding over here in the pile of scrap metal of things I don't need, which is a lump. I could patch that hole. I could patch the other hole. I could patch the two or three other pinholes that I found while I was cleaning this thing out. But I can't guarantee to myself that it's actually going to be gas tight anymore. I just don't trust it anymore. This thing was junk. This thing was just a rusty, husk and i just decided you know what i won't throw it out yet what are the odds that i'll be able to find the parts i need to make it work again i mean this works um i've drained the oil out of it simply because that oil was no good and i've since capped off and sealed it off in the meantime while i waited but i was able to finally get another condenser obviously it's not brand new and excellent condition but it should work i just need some brazing work done here and a little bit of pipe work and I can get that sorted out. And I even got a new motor and a new fan. So sure, why not? Clean that up, painted it, cleaned all this up, painted it. I mean, these two valves may very well be junk, but whatever, I have something to base myself off of. So I might actually be able to reuse that, which would be really cool. And also in the meantime, while I was working on this, I did an experiment with refrigeration. You see, I had this Fairbanks Morse Gibson refrigerator, like 1940s, 1950s fridge, and I screwed up and I actually ended up uh, losing the charge on it, which was R12. And if I remember, if I can open the door here, if I remember, this was R12 that was in here, wasn't it? Yes, R12 is supposed to be in here. So I tried one of the modern replacement gases for R12, in this old fridge to see if it was practical to do to take a refrigerant loop and just recharge it with something like that and as it turns out it worked so i can pull down this to vacuum once i get that behaved and once it passes a leak check we could just recharge it with um one of the modern r12 replacements and it'll work which is really cool and I now have almost all the HVAC manifold tools to do that, so I can actually charge it up now. I just don't have a vacuum pump. But the reason I had this condenser become available is because I had a um, local kitchen supply center. They were getting rid of a upright reach-in cooler. And they had the whole assembly, and they were getting rid of it. So I was just like, yo, like, what do you want for it? And they're like, just take it. Okay, cool, thanks. Merry Christmas. Parts of it go to this. And I get to use a semi-hermetic refrigeration compressor as a pseudo-vacuum pump. Not the best, but whatever, it saves me a bunch of money. So, there is our progress. We've got some things which are rebuilt with promise. We have other things which are looking great and basically done. We have other items which are now in the state where they can be used as patterns. And we still have stuff here which needs to be completely repaired. But. I would call this a progress update, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, is there an end to this? I have no idea. I hope to be done before the 10 year mark on this, and then I can actually demonstrate to you. Uh, the rest of the parts are currently hiding in this box right here. There's more insulation, and there's other odds and ends that I've pulled out that I've been cleaning and storing, and they're all mainly just patterns. So once the new pieces are made and cut, I can throw the old pieces away. But there's your progress update. Remember this thing? Well, now you do.